What you guys got another video here for it now if you want to add the open command window here to the Windows 10 context menu then this is for you now what this does is basically adds the command prompt um, window here and also the PowerShell window here so let me go through and show you what I mean I did a, a tutorial the other day showing you useful tips uh, for Windows 10 and this one was in there and someone said could I make a video showing you how to add the open command window here which is for the command prompt because it only shows PowerShell so when you right click here you can see there is no um, com open command window here but if you hold the shift key down you will get open with PowerShell so let's go on down to the search box and type in here reg edit and what we're going to do first is create a backup of our registry so open up the registry editor go up to the top left hand side and highlight computer and then what we're going to do is go to file and then we can uh, export you can call it whatever you like I'm going to call this say for instance backup I'm going to put it in our C root directory here this is a backup of our complete registry for the computer so if you do want to revert back after you've made them a changes or something like that you can always put it back and you can also create system restore points and stuff like that as well if you want to so that's done so what we're going to do here we can take a look this is our backup that we've got of our registry file and you can see it's the complete registry that we've backed up for the computer so now we've got that backed up okay so let's now uh, make some changes to the registry and uh, get this working so what we need to do here is go to h key classes root and this is going to be where we need to make some changes so click on there and this will open up the h key classes root and then we're going to come all the way down here and what we're looking for here is directory so i'm just going to quickly find uh, this inside here there's quite a few files here so you just have to find directory so we've got directory and then we can open this up by clicking on the little arrow and then go to shell then open up that as well and then look for cmd which is your command prompt now we can't make any changes inside here because this is a protected file for the operating system so we need to go to permissions here if we look at the permissions for this cmd folder you'll see it's only set to read and this means that we won't be able to make changes so we're going to have to take and change permissions for this so if i try to put full control it won't allow me so let me show you what we're going to do here is we're going to make some changes to this and uh, change the permissions for this so we can make a change okay so what we're going to do is right click on it and go to permissions and then we're going to go down to advanced once we're inside here we're going to go up to where it says change click on change at the very top you can see trusted installer is there and once we're there we need to put in our username for our account mine's called change me yours will be whatever username is and click check names once it's found that you can click ok now we're not finished here yet we want to go up to the top here so let me just open this up so you can see here so we're going to go up to the very top and what we're going to do is go replace owner on uh, subdomains and objects put the tick in there and apply let that apply and then we're going to go down to where it says add click on the add button here and then what we want to do is set a principle here so we're going to go inside here and type our username again so i'm going to be putting in change me because that's the username i'm using what yours will be whatever it is check names and then click ok once we click ok this will uh, change this principle for us we can now give this full control and read click ok again and this should now allow us to get access to the cmd folder click ok and then we can click apply here and click ok and then all we need to do here is put a tick in full control and click ok and we now have access to that area here so we can make changes in our cmd folder so what you need to do you can see here we've got hide here up the top so we need to rename this and put show so just change the hide to show and then what you need to do here is restart the computer or restart the explorer here so i'm just going to put that to show there and uh, that's now done and let me just quickly um, 
Restart Explorer here. So I'm going to open up Task Manager here. And once we open up Task Manager, I'm going to go down to where it says Explorer. So let's go down to Explorer here and restart this process here. So it should be right away down in the bottom here. It's a lot of them here. There he is, Windows Explorer, and then click Restart. We can now close off uh, the Task Manager window and we can now go to setting up our command prompt. So what we need to do here is go to the Start button and then click Settings. And inside here, what we need to do here is make a change. So we're going to go over to Personalization and then come all the way down to the bottom where it says Taskbar. You should see an area here saying Replace Command Prompt with PowerShell. We're going to turn that off because we want Command Prompt. So now close that box off. And what we're going to do now is go into, say, for instance, our Explorer window, hold the Shift key down and right click on any of these folders. Now you should now see Open Command Prompt window here and also Open PowerShell window here. Now before we only had one, we only had the PowerShell window, but now we've got two because we've made that edit in the registry. So that gives you the best of both worlds. You can either use PowerShell or you can use Command Prompt. And I think that is a really good tweak uh, to use for Windows 10. Now this is inside a folder area, so inside Explorer. If I try to do it on the desktop, it's not going to work. So we need to make one more edit in the registry. So let's go back into the registry editor and open this up. And we're in the same location. So all we need to do here is go back to where it says directory here. So that's what I'm going to do is so I'm going to close this back and go back, step back a, a step here. So close that command window off, go to background. And what we need to do is open up background and go to shell and then open this little drop down window here and go to CMD. Once we're inside there, we need to change the permissions for this folder as well. So we can uh, set this up. So let's go ahead here and uh, change this. So first off, what we're going to do is change the permissions again. So we're going to right click on that folder here go permissions and then once we've got this window open we're going to go straight into advanced down the bottom bottom here so click on advanced and then up near where it says owner trusted installer we can click on the change button here and then do a search for our username which we're using so click on this and now do a search here for the name that you're using on your account. In my case, it's change me. Yours will be whatever it is. Click that, check names, click OK. And then up the top here, we can go replace owner on subdirectories and objects. Click apply. And then once we've got this done, we're pretty much uh, good to go here. We can go down the bottom and click add. And we can now select a principal and we could do the same thing, search for a name, which is mine, change me, yours will be your username and click check, check names. And then we can click on the OK button here. Once we click OK, that's going to move us on to the next stage. So click OK. Now we can give it full control and read and click OK again. And what we can do here is apply an OK and now give this uh, the control that we need here to rename. So let me just quickly rename this um, area here to show. That's now done. And once we've got that done, we can close off the uh, registry editor. We don't need the registry editor anymore. So we could just close these off. Let me just quickly tidy this up a little bit and close that off. Now what that's done is it's allowed us to um, add it onto the main desktop here. So let me just go to Windows Explorer here and restart this. And now we can close that off. And now if we right click on the desktop here, hold left shift and key, you should now see both of them here. If I didn't do that last registry edit there, you wouldn't have seen it on the desktop. It would only work inside a folder, but not on an open desktop here. So we now have that set all on the desktop and also inside folders. And we've got the best of both worlds. We can have command prompt or PowerShell 
and that's basically how that works so let me just quickly show you here I'm going to go into this location here if I wanted to do say for instance program files we can now go right click open with PowerShell or command prompt let's just open command prompt and that takes us straight to that folder and it saves a bit of time and of course you can do whatever you need to do inside that location anyway that's going to be about it for this video hope this one's been useful to you a bit more of an advanced video there for some people but my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk have a great weekend guys and i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos Thank <laughs> you.